People are getting used to using voice-enabled services like Siri and OK Google on their smartphones. Microsoft recently added its service, Cortana, to Windows 10, so now it works on desktop PCs and laptops. With so many people talking to their computers, we decided to engage these three in a digital showdown. Hey Cortana, what's it like outside today? The forecast shows sun with a high of 59 and a low of 49. They were right. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco. How long is the Golden Gate Bridge? Golden Gate Bridge is 2,737 meters long. Google and Cortana both know the Golden Gate Bridge is 8,980 feet long. Siri knows it too, but must have gone to school in Europe. She prefers the metric system. Okay, Google, where is the closest pharmacy to me? Here are the listings for pharmacy within 0.4 miles. Google showed me three pharmacies, but not the one on the ground floor of my own building. Same with Siri. Cortana found it, though. Can you make a reservation for lunch at Credo? Okay, I found this on the web for can you make a reservation for lunch at Credo. Siri and Cortana were stumped, but Google pulled up the Open Table app on my Nexus phone with the reservation form already filled out. Unfortunately, the place is booked for weeks. Siri, what movies are playing near me today? I found quite a number of movies playing today near San Francisco. All three showed me local listings, but the Siri app led off with a new release at a theater just half mile from my office. A couple taps and I had the Fandango app, which sells tickets online. Okay, Google, what's the meaning of life? Life, the condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter. I don't believe there is a consensus on that question. We all shine on, my friend. So here's our verdict. All three are pretty good on factual questions. Series programmers have the best sense of humor, Google is all business, and Cortana is catching up to both of them. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels.